Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Long time no see. <laughs> I'm back, back on two wheels, ready to go for another adventure. I know, I know what you're thinking. This isn't a CBR 650R. I know, I know. Uh, but hey, I'm still on two wheels at the end of the day, so I'll take it, I'll take it. This is a Suzuki V Strom DL650. Let's jump straight to the obvious question. Why am I on a DL650 instead of my CBR650R? Well, that's because someone crashed into my 650R and uh, now I don't have it anymore. <laughs> I have no idea where this is. I have no idea where I'm going. And I've got a strong feeling that I'm going to be turning around very soon. Yep, we're turning around as predicted. Alright, let's go back. <laughs> uh, I'm sure a lot of you haven't seen my Instagram post or my YouTube uh, community post that I made. But uh, back in November, yeah, it seems like ages ago now. But back in November, I, I got smacked right off my bike by a dude in a car. Um, <clears throat> it was pretty much the typical <laughs> motorcycle accident. Uh, I mean, I'll show you what I mean in a sec, but pretty much I'm on the main road like I am now. Uh, and he's coming out of a side road on the left and uh, he hasn't seen me and he's just pulled out and knocked me straight off into the side the car actually hit my left knee uh, pretty hard so just like here he just pulls out of here and smacks me off and sends me over to this side of the road the typical bike accident thing and uh, if you're wondering how he didn't see me uh, the typical thing of there was a car in front of me so, you know, just assumed after that car was gone that the road was clear. Uh, which, to be fair, um, I do get that. I drive as well. And, yeah, if there is a smaller vehicle behind a bigger vehicle and you're waiting to pull out, it can be hard to see that other vehicle that's behind. Um, but, you know, I'm trying to be fair, but... <laughs> In my case, I was going pretty slow and I did wait for the vehicle in front to turn. <laughs> but oh well, it is what it is. It's happened, uh, unfortunately. But yeah, that's pretty much what happened. Uh, it wasn't too bad. Uh, it wasn't like a really fast collision or like a hard collision. Well, it, was, it felt hard. But what happened is, uh, he's pulled out from the road and he's turned because he was turning towards me he wanted to go right so he pulled out of the left road come towards me and just knocked me off onto the other side of the road but because the front of his car has kind of hit the left of the bike i flipped over his hood or his bonnet flipped over his bonnet in the air and <laughs> land on my back so my back has been pretty knackered obviously the impact was my knee uh, that's where the car actually hit me on my knee so the trousers I was wearing I'll probably post a picture of it the trousers I was wearing literally has orange stains because <laughs> the car was orange the paint color so it literally stained my trousers with orange paint so my knee's been busted up actually that's where I'm coming from now um, I was just at physio getting some physio treatment for my knee so I was on the floor obviously adrenaline I jumped up as soon as I could tried moving my bike out the road me and the guy were talking trying to sort things out uh, the police were called ambulance were called uh, oh another dude on a bike and another dude on a bike how wonderful but yeah I went to hospital and had to do a bunch of x-rays and CT scans and all that kind of good stuff and I was in a lot of pain <laughs> and uh, I was shaking a lot and I couldn't walk uh, yeah it was pretty brutal but I didn't break anything I didn't sprain anything it was just a lot of deep bruising on my body 
So once that healed and the muscles kind of healed, it, I was all right. You know, I could move around and do what I've got to do. But uh, uh, it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't too bad at the end. Uh, I survived, <laughs> and I'm here to ride another day. So I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, I know I was gone for a long time, so a lot of you might have thought it was a really really serious accident. It really wasn't that serious. Uh, <laughs> I was just being a bit of a baby, to be honest. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's pretty much what happened. Oh, future me here from later on in the video or in the filming. Um, I forgot to mention something earlier. Uh, if you're wondering why I haven't played uh, uh, some footage of the crash or shown you pictures of what happened at the crash, uh, I, I wasn't recording. <laughs> I wasn't recording. Uh, sadly, the one time I wasn't recording, uh, this happens. So yeah, great. And to be fair, even if I was recording, I was out on a very long ride. I would have had no battery. I was on a very, very long ride. I would have had no battery left by that point anyway, because I was almost home. It happened like right before I got home, and I was out for hours and hours. Uh, funny thing is, I should mention that uh, <laughs> the purpose of the ride, funny enough, was uh, it was actually supposed to be a test, a test ride of the route I had planned for the group ride I was planning. So if you remember, maybe you don't remember, but I had a video up, which I've taken down now for obvious reasons, uh, announcing that I was doing a group ride <laughs> from the Sainsbury's in Basildon. And we were gonna do a little ride around uh, the southeast of Essex. Oh, this is a pretty nice view. Oh, never been down here. Pretty nice. Anyhow, uh, and that was the plan. So obviously I didn't want to just plan a route that I've never ridden before and then take a bunch of people on said route. <laughs> the Saturday morning, <laughs> I went all the way on this long ass ride early in the morning. Uh, and I was out for hours in the cold. It was pretty cold that morning. Uh, and literally right as I was about to get home after the whole ride, I did the route. The route was pretty fun actually. It was a pretty good route. I was happy with it. Excited to do it the next morning. And then bang, this happened. It's almost as if fate or destiny or whatever the hell it was, was telling me, uh, maybe you shouldn't do the group ride. <laughs> but uh, I think I think we got to make up for that. So hopefully I can, well, I, like, I need to figure out what my riding situation is going to be. <laughs> I don't know. This is just a higher bike or a courtesy bike. So I don't know what the future holds, but when I can sort out <laughs> some permanent riding plans again, uh, we'll have to give the group ride another shot but bear with me for now <laughs> there won't be anything like that right now but yeah I just wanted to add that little bit in because I forgot to mention that earlier and now you will be transported back to where I was uh, before um, if you're wondering why I'm not giving too many details it's because uh, let's just say I might make a part two to the story revealing a lot more details because you think I got hit off my bike it's not my fault uh, police are involved everything's you know going smoothly insurances are sorting everything out there's no no problems sadly that's not the case <laughs> things aren't going very well at all regarding this whole situation and it's getting to the point where I kind of want to vent uh, about these things might have to uh, <laughs> call some people out <laughs> uh, I don't want to do that but it, it might have to happen so uh, I want to see how things go but I'm definitely gonna make a part two to the situation going more into the details of how things are handled but I don't want to bog this video down with all of that stuff this is just a hey I'm back kind of video uh, so we'll fast forward a bit to when I got this thing even though my insurance provides me the option for a higher bike I didn't want a higher bike uh, or a courtesy bike because I couldn't ride one <laughs> my wrist, I forgot to mention, my wrist was completely uh, busted up as well uh, obviously my knee, my back and a few other places so I was in no position and I'll, be just, I'll straight up be honest I just didn't want to ride anyway I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't really in a riding mood per se right after the accident so for a few months uh, after the accident my insurance kept offering me if I wanted a bike and I kept saying no 
And they kept asking, I don't know why they wanted me to have a bike so desperately. <laughs> they would not leave me alone, man. They were like, do you want a bike now? Next week, hey, do you want a bike now? The next week, hey, do you want a bike now? So eventually I was like, you know what? Just give me a bike. <laughs> Just give me a bike and leave me alone. <laughs> uh, uh, so I got this bike, which I probably will make a video on or about, uh, talk about a bit more. But yeah, as I said, this is the Suzuki Beastrum uh, DL650. I think it's a 2022 model. And I, I hate it. <laughs> but I'll get more into that another time. But yeah, man, coming from a CBR 650R, this is, this isn't it, man. This isn't it. Oh, dear. I miss my CBR so much. Listen to this thing. Normally in my videos, I'm going to post a clip of what my videos normally sound like. Ah, I know this is a video about mirrors, but god damn, that sounded lovely. I come to this like where is my noise where's my exhaust there's no there's like I'm in fourth gear fair enough but the power's not there the fun isn't there ah oh, I miss my bike so much man but oh well I mean it's still it's not a horrible bike it, it is it's still fun to ride and it's nice to be back on two wheels like I said but I will be going more in depth about this bike because I'll be honest, there's things about it I kind of like but <laughs> there's other things about it I don't like uh, but it's been an interesting experience, I'll say that now you're probably thinking, oh you just recently got this bike and you know, you've just made a video on it because you just got it no, I'll be honest with you, I've had this bike for a while now <laughs> I've had this, when did I get this bike? I don't even remember but I I've had it for a, a over a month I think <laughs> like I've had it for a while um, and it's not that I didn't want to make a video but I'll be honest um, I, I was a bit demotivated to make content I'll be honest or to film anything or to honestly or just to think about the situation uh, it, it kind of bummed me out I'll be honest and at the same time work got very busy because I changed my job role as soon as I was like feeling a little bit better it was getting a bit busy and <laughs> I went straight into this new job role so it was a bit no time to breathe kind of and then on top of that I have a new camera mount or a new chin mount for my helmet and uh, that meant I had to completely scrap my old setup because my old chin mount wasn't even a chin mount it was just a bunch of straps and cables and cords <laughs> that I attached to my helmet myself go crazy potholes on this road yeah it was just like this weird makeshift uh, contraption that I had on my helmet with all my audio cables and my mic wired through and stuff so I knew changing that meant uh, I'd have to redo my audio oh dear what is going on Oh, oh, I see a big thing coming around the corner. Do you remember this from your theory test where you'd watch a clip like this and you'd have to see a big vehicle? <laughs> you'd have to look and see like a big vehicle coming over the bushes <laughs> and click it for your theory test. I just did that. <laughs> but in, in real life, this literally, it, was, it would be a clip just like this. A country road with some tractor and anyway. You did not need to do that, bro. So I now with the new chin mount, I had to find a new way to reattach all my audio cables and blah, blah, blah. Uh, and I just, for the life of me, couldn't get my audio to sound as good as it did before. Bear in mind, my audio didn't sound very good in my videos before anyway. And now it sounds much, much worse. To the point where I filmed a lot of test videos and I was like, there's no way I'm releasing this. <laughs> like, it just sounds so bad, so... Even now, I'm not happy with how it sounds. In my opinion, it still doesn't sound as good as my old videos used to, but uh, at this point, it's just going to have to do, and I can continue to tweak it in the background. I don't know which way I want to go. But yeah, hopefully I can get a few more videos on this bike. 
uh, before I don't have this bike anymore. <laughs> uh, and I will aim to start making content somewhat regularly again. But yeah, pretty much this was meant to be me saying sorry for <laughs> just ghosting everyone for a while. Also, I can't believe I've waited this long to say this. Thank you to everybody who's who reached out to me. No one knows me. I don't have a big channel. I'm pretty cute to myself. You know, I'm not a very out there kind of person. So I thought, okay, I had an accident. I posted. No one's gonna notice. No one's really gonna care. But geez, you guys, you guys flooded me with messages and like well wishes and you know all that good stuff. Like you guys really, you guys really showed up. So I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. Every single one of you that sent a message and kept checking up on me and still is checking up on me. Thank you. And hopefully this audio sounds good <laughs> for this entire ride. And this talking was a waste of time. Honestly, I haven't filmed a video in a while. This feel I feel so rusty. Like I used to be so well, I wasn't I don't think I was ever really good at it, but I used to feel a lot more confident <laughs> doing this. And a bit more smooth. Now I'm just like, what the heck am I saying? <laughs> As I said, I'm gonna make a part two to the situation, go in more in detail and all of that stuff so if you kind of thought that wasn't much of an update don't worry there's there's more to come but this is just a hello i'm back uh kind of video so uh hello i'm back and now i'm gone i'll see you guys in the next one thanks for coming back to watch another video from me and uh goodbye <laughs>